few days. Yeah, I mean, it's been it's been two days. You can tell that the maturity and experience has, has paid off, especially with Matt and Jake, and they're making some some good decisions, and they're seeing the defense well, and they're commanding the huddle. So the experience has definitely paid off, and uh, I've been pleased with both of them in the last two days. Uh, there's a lot of things that we need to improve on uh, fundamentally and schematically that we got to get cleaned up. But yeah, I'm pleased with both of them uh, thus far. What have you seen out of Kareem Coles in the early going so far? He's got a lot of ability. He's got a lot of good intangibles right now. He's he's swimming a little bit, his head spinning, and uh, he just needs to relax and play football right now. But he's a great young man. He does a great job studying football away from football, which you have to do in this offense. And you know, I think the future will be bright for him. So he, he just got to take it one play at a time. And if something doesn't go right, he just needs to stay positive, have good body language, and play the next play. But I'm excited about him. He's a great kid. Mm -hmm. What are some of the differences between Matt and, and Jake as passers? Um, you know, they're both kind of similar. Um, one thing that uh, they both improved on uh, over the summertime is, is, is their speed and athleticism. You know, they both can help us out in the run game. Um, Jake obviously has a, a cannon of an arm on him. He can make, he can make a lot of throws across all over the field. And, and Matt has a strong arm too. You know, they're, they're good in the pocket, but they're athletic enough to, to both extend plays if something breaks down. And, they're, they're good in our play action game. So they're kind of similar um, in a lot of senses, but you know, just their demeanor and uh, the way that they handle things are both great leaders, which you have to have at that position. But um, there's not that much difference between the both of them right now. And uh, Jake's had a, la a good two days, which anytime you can have competition at any position, it's gonna, it's gonna help your football team. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy with them. You think a quarterback can go into a fall camp with a different mindset, maybe more confidence knowing that they're the guy, knowing that they're going to be starting, um, as opposed to going in trying to get a spot? Yeah, that doesn't that doesn't happen uh, here at Idaho. Um, you know, we don't want anybody to be complacent. So that's, you know, the more uh, talent that we get in here at different positions, the more competition that you're going to have and the better your football team becomes, both, you know, on offense and defense. So. Nobody should be secure in uh, in their position. You got to come out and compete every single day because if if you don't execute the offense and you don't do what you're supposed to do, and the guy behind you doing it, then we're gonna that other guy's gonna get more reps. So there's gonna be competition. But so yeah, I mean, I, I think at every position on offense and defense, I don't think anybody's I don't think anybody's real secure um, with their job right now. They know they got to bring it every day. At what point would you like maybe one of them to separate themselves as they get closer to, to week one? Um, well, you know, I mean, Matt played last year, so he has a little bit more experience. So I guess, if anything, it, it would be his job, you know, his job to lose. But he's got to come out and, and get better every day, and he's done that so far. And, and Jake has to prepare like, you know, he's going to be the starter this year, you know, because it only takes one play, God forbid, and, and he's got to be up. So, you know, both of them have to have that mindset when they come every day. But, you, you know, whoever is the most consistent will – will be the guy that uh, solidifies that position. So we've only had two practices, and I think they're both doing good right now. When the when the pads, when the real pads come on and we see how they execute, then you know, then we'll see what, what's going on. The thing about Jake that he needs to to, to experience is, is, is live experience. He needs to have that clock in his head. I think we, we might make him live a few times this this fall camp just so he's used to getting hit and what, what real football is like because it's, it's been – over a year since he's played real football and, and guys are running after him and, and tackling him. So, Paul's talked a lot about the team speed and how, how that's one area you guys have improved in, improved in since, uh, since he got here. Where are you noticing that, especially um, defensively, maybe maybe especially in the secondary? Yeah, I mean, at the skills skill position on both sides of the balls. Um, in the secondary, uh, at corner, our linebackers are faster, um, you know, our front guys are, are quick and strong, and then on offense, you know, just our skill position at running back, at receiver, um, and even our tight ends are faster. That we moved, you know, moved some guys around a little bit, but just overall team speed, uh, is, as you guys can see out here, is, is a lot better than it was when we first got here. And, you know, there's an old saying my dad used to always say, "Speed kills." So we just got to get them going fast in the right direction, and that's our job to do as coaches.